This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the ACE Model 54999371 Padlock. This lock is now discontinued, and there's a lot of places online that are still selling them in quantity new in their packaging. So ACE appears to have dumped the lock with a whole lot of excess inventory. And I have a few ideas why that may be, and we'll talk about them throughout this video. This lock advertises a 50 millimeter steel lock body. Then we have a nine millimeter shrouded shackle and a five pin core with spool pins. That's right, this lock, which clearly has a disc detainer core, advertises that it has a pin tumbler core. But that is the least of this lock's problems because it has many flaws that you normally only find on the cheapest of locks made in mainland China. The first of which is absolutely terrible machining. You can see it on the face of the lock, but nowhere is it more apparent than on the inside of the shroud, where you can see that metal is absolutely chewed up. And we even have an edge right back here that is so sharp you can cut yourself on it. Next, we have chrome that is already chipping off. This is brand new out of the package, yet you can still see the chrome is chipping in a number of different places in this little groove of the ACE logo. And in fact, the chroming is so bad that brand new out of the packaging, this is rusting on the inside, which is obviously a huge problem. Next, we have a poorly hardened shackle, which as you can see from this little groove right here, failed the file test miserably. That means we could probably cut through this with a hacksaw or with bolt cutters. Next, we have a super cheap disc detainer core, and I hope you'll be able to see this on the video. If we look down the keyway, let me put some light through there. You can see some black plastic in the back. That is the black plastic of the lock's housing and actuator. That's right, some of the key components of this locking mechanism are made out of plastic. Finally, we have a terrible core retention mechanism. It's this little circle here that's held in place with a spring clip and can probably be pried out with a screwdriver. So all things considered, I think Ace should probably be ashamed that this lock ever bore the company logo. And I think we probably have a pretty good idea of why it was discontinued. But what we're gonna do today is see what it takes to pick into. First thing we're gonna do is rotate all the discs as far clockwise as they will go, and then take the first disc and counter rotate it just a bit. Let me show you what that looks like. You can see we move the first one back. The reason I do that is so that I don't insert my pick too far. So let's get the pick in place now. Okay, I have that picking up disc one and only disc one. So let's find disc two and get to picking. Okay, disc two is binding. Got to click out of him, he feels set. Disc three, click out of three. Four, click out of four. Little bit of movement on that core. Nothing on five. Disc six is binding. Little bit more movement on the core and nothing on seven. And there's no discs behind that, so a seven disc lock. Okay, back to two, two is set, so is three. So is four, five, six. Everything feels, oh, there we go, it was open. It's just hanging up on something. Okay, so not a terribly difficult lock to pick into. So in addition to all of its physical flaws, it's also a lightweight as far as pick resistance goes. But to be honest, picking disc detainer locks probably isn't a real world threat. If for no other reason than the skills and tools required to open them tend not to be very common. But as far as the build quality of this lock goes, that is a complete deal breaker. It's terribly put together and Ace discontinued it with good reason. So that's all I have for you on this model 5499371 padlock. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. 
And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.